Well, I welcome everybody that's coming to see this uh, this show, and uh, I'm very happy that it's that it's happening because it shows shows off my grandfather's work for one thing, and he, he, he was a very good photographer. But then it shows off it shows off Japan as it was then. I mean, he went to Japan in 1888. In that picture, they've just arrived in, in Japan, my grandfather and my grandmother. And the rick, there was a rickshaw in the studio, and my grandmother was sitting in the rickshaw. They just got to Japan then. And he, he took up photography. And of course, that was very interesting, but very time-consuming. But that's what he loved doing. By profession, he, was a, he had been a, an accountant and uh, then he became, uh, I think he must have been, uh, become a mission, um, ordained to become a, you know, a, an Anglican minister because he wanted to go abroad and he particularly wanted to go to Japan. And at that time, Japan was just opening up to the West. The Japanese wanted people from abroad, Canada and the States, but Canada anyway. And, uh, but they wanted people to show them Western ways and how to run offices and speak English and stuff. But they wanted people that were reliable. They wanted good people. So they thought, well, we'll get missionaries. <laughs> so that's how he came to go there. And he, he just loved it right from the start, of course. And he enjoyed life. He, he took pictures and he... he that was his, his main obsession, I think. And uh, most pictures at that time were taken in studios, portraits and things like that. But he was one of the first people, I think, to take pictures anywhere, anytime. And he'd fix up his camera. He took pictures outside, you know, whatever was going on, he'd like to snap in his camera. <laughs> of course, you can't snap it fast. You couldn't snap it fast because he had to carry glass around and whatever you used. And it must have been really heavy, heavy work. But he seemed to do little things to his camera to make them do all sorts of fancy things. And when he traveled around, he traveled with all his gear and equipment. And so at first, it was glass. But they were remarkable because for their time, because nobody was doing outdoor photos. They were just beginning to when we were kids, you know. In my grandfather's time, they didn't have them yet. They had photo studios to take formal portraits and stuff like that. But my, my grandfather took them any place. He, there's, he's taking pictures of people and in, in the various things they wore. And uh, he specifically got interested because he, he has pictures of people in, in clothes, a coat or a cape, shoes, a hat, all made out of rice. rice. And that's what they stayed out of the rain with. There's a picture of a girl pushing a... Um, a car full of gold ore, mostly gold ore, I suppose it would be heavy, and a, a little car, you know, pushing it this way on tracks. And there was a woman doing this, and it must have been really heavy. And I thought that was very interesting. Women were mining too. There's a picture of, of uh, some people sitting around and a great big coil of rope and that rope was made from women's hair. It was a, a little village, and I think it's, it's still there in the, the museum in that town. They'd had a disaster in this village, and a lot of houses were just destroyed. They had wood to build, rebuild the houses. They could get wood, but they had no rope any place. They couldn't get rope. So all the village women cut their hair off and made... It was a 
this huge coil of rope like this and thick rope made of, all made from women's hair. They all help each other. You know, everybody, if there's a disaster, it helps, happens here some too, but it seems to be a special place, a bunch of people that when there's disasters or somebody's in trouble, people come along and help them. The, the village does, you know, they all got together, the women all, and things like that. And I, 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 I noticed this when we were there too. I lived in Japan years later, obviously, but I, I liked, liked it very much, and, and he liked it very much. And uh, it's nice to see the two, the two cultures getting together, people getting together and getting to understand each other. And I think that's very important that we all, different cult cultures get together. I think it's one of the most important things in the world.